Hey y'all, it's CJ from Smoky Beginnings. And let me ask you a question. Are you tired of boring, dry sandwiches that lack flavor and feel like you're chewing on cardboard? If so, I got the perfect recipe for you. Today, we're making perfectly grilled ribeye steak sandwiches on our charcoal grill. This recipe is gonna take your love of sandwiches to that next level. In this video, we'll cover how to prep the ribeye, how to grill the, the ribeye, how to make your own Texas toast at home. Plus, I'll share some tips and tricks along the way. So if you're ready to ditch those bland old sandwiches, and elevate your sandwich game to a whole new level, let's go. Let's start by prepping the toppings. This is where we can get creative because the ribeye pairs well with everything. We'll start with some onions. Slice those onions very finely. Let's saute them. Add a pan to a stove over medium heat, melt some butter, then add the onions. Move the onions around to cover them in the butter, then add some salt. Let them cook until brown and tender, then remove them from the stove. Next, cut up some avocado into thin slices because nobody wants a huge solid chunk of avocado getting stuck in their teeth. Then fry up some bacon because we add bacon to everything around here. Now it's time to set up the grill. The optimal setting is going to be a two zone fire. One side is going to be screaming hot while the other side is a gentle heat. It gives you the best of both worlds. You can sear then move the steak over to the cooler side or you can do a reverse sear which will be at the end of the cook. Now if you're interested in learning how to cook a tomahawk steak on a charcoal grill, I've covered the whole process in detail in a previous video. Stay tuned until the end of this video where I have a link to that video. And while I have you here, make sure to like and subscribe. Not only are you supporting a small channel, but you're playing an integral part in helping the channel grow. Today, we're gonna to be using a ribeye steak. This is my favorite cut of steak. It has a ton of delicious fat and the meat has an outrageous flavor. Now, some people may not use a binder or they may use some water or oil as their binder. I like to use mustard as my binder. It helps the seasoning stick to the cut of meat really well. With regards to seasoning, you can keep it simple with just salt and pepper, but today I'm gonna use the steak seasoning that I have. It has a nice blend of salt, pepper, garlic, onion, mustard powder, and some red pepper flakes. Make sure to season all sides. All of that seasoning is gonna pull out the surface moisture, which will give us a very nice crust. Now that our grill is ready, let's get the ribeye steak onto the grill. We are going to do a reverse here. We'll put the steak on the cooler side of the grill, gently bringing the steak up to our target temp of 122 degrees Fahrenheit or 50 degrees Celsius, at which point we will then do our reverse here. I have my trusty Meter Plus meat probe inserted so that I know the internal temperature of my steak at all times. I highly recommend using a meat probe. It is a total game changer when grilling and smoking. You never have to guess when your meat is done and your end result will be so much better when you nail that internal temp. Link in their description. While the steaks are on the grill, let's make my version of Texas toast. Start by grating some garlic, then melt some butter, then combine the two together, along with some dried parsley. On either parchment paper or aluminum foil lined sheet pan, add some sourdough bread. When toasted, it has that perfect crunch. Brush on the garlic butter mixture that we have just created. And I love garlic, so I usually use a good amount, but make sure not to drown the bread in the butter. This recipe works well with a lot of different breads, like Italian, French, or brioche. Just look for a bread that toasts up really well and gets really crispy. Once your bread is buttered, add the sheet pan to an oven. Using the broiler setting, don't walk away because it isn't gonna take very long. And you can go from perfectly toasted to burnt within seconds. Look for a nice golden brown or toast to your desired level. Then add some grated cheese and let it melt under the broiler. Then pull the bread out once it's, the cheese is ooey and gooey. Let's take a look at the steaks. Wow, they are definitely looking good. It is now time to get our sear to lock in those juices. Move the steaks over to the high heat side. Give the steak about another minute per side before flipping. This is also gonna be a time where you don't wanna walk away. You will wanna keep an eye out for flare ups from the fat dripping onto the charcoal. You could do a reverse sear with the lid closed, but I like to leave it open as I can make adjustments when needed. Remove the steaks once you have reached the desired internal temperature and level of sear that you want 
To me, these look great, so let's take them inside to rest. While the steaks are resting, let's create one more delicious topping for our sandwich, an over easy egg. I love eggs, so let's pan fry two. Once those are cooked, put them off to the side. The steak is rested and it is now time to slice the steak. The ribeye has three different muscles. Therefore, we have to find which way the grain is going and slice against the grain to get those tender bites. Make sure to slice it thinly because it lends to a better chewing experience. And now that we have everything prepared and the steak is sliced, let's move on to the assembly line. Take that wonderfully cheesy Texas toast, then add as many layers of that perfectly grilled ribeye steak that you want. Today, you get to be the sandwich artist. Add some avocado, some sauteed onions, some bacon. Don't forget those pan fried eggs. Top it off with the lid. Make sure to get approval from your youngins. Then let's slice and see the results. And don't be frightened by the oozing egg. It adds a burst of richness and texture. And there you have it folks, a perfectly grilled ribeye steak sandwich recipe that's gonna blow your top off. All there's left to do is serve it up with your favorite sides. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you enjoyed this content, don't forget to like and subscribe as that is the best way to support the channel. And if you really like this video, check out the playlist suggested at the end. It features a whole bunch of different charcoal grilling recipes that are delicious. For all types of more great barbecue recipes, visit my website, smokybeginnings.com. And until next time, keep those fires burning and those taste buds tingling. Have a good one.